Hello, everybody. Hello. Here we are again. Yeah. Doing only what we can do. <laughs> yeah. Just a short one. We just wanted to give a message to everybody. We want to thank everybody for your emails and comments and, you know, links you sent and everything. And, yeah, those district convention parties videos are still coming <laughs> yeah. in. And, boy, we Yeehaw. got some doozies. Yes. And, uh, of course, the one we did for Fairy Tale, that one is getting quite a laugh. People can't believe that one. Yeah. But um, also, we want to welcome our new subscribers. You know, this has just been so humbling and overwhelming, you know, how everybody has welcomed us into the XJW community. Yeah. Um, this morning in my in inbox, I had seven new subscribers just this yeah, morning. Just this morning alone. So, so it's... We're... Everybody's love and support. Yeah. I mean, it's just amazing. So... So we're going to try to keep the laughs coming, and we're going to try to mock watchtower as much as we can and we're gonna mock them tonight <laughs> yeah this is so much fun oh they I just know. make it so easy i know but i want to thank our viewers sitting straight <laughs> yeah thank you so much sweetie <laughs> we got the m&ms today <laughs> she sent us a two pound bag of the customized m&ms and this is what it says on them number one apostates Mikey's Riled, <laughs> Mike and Kim, uh, Tat, T-T-A-T-T, -T -T, which is the truth about the truth, and nojw.org. Let's see, did I say Mike and Kim already? I think you did. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you sure. so much. Thank you so much. This but I got a question. What happened to the green M&Ms? <laughs> I guess I'll have to eat the green ones out of the big bag. <laughs> That's an old wives' tale. I know. But thank you so much. It's like we're afraid to eat these. These yeah. should be framed. <laughs> yeah, we should. Yeah, we should keep those for uh, for the future references yeah. or whatever. But thank you those so much. Be, your you. your generosities, and you know everyone else that's been sending their gifts of gratitude. Um, I I don't know what to say. It's it's truly humbling. Um, the, the love and the support that Kim and I are receiving is, I mean, for us, it's just, we, we can't understand it because, you know, we just, all we do is mock Watchtower. I mean, yeah, we have a few serious videos here and there, but for the most part, we just, we just mock them. <laughs> so. Cause it's so much fun. <laughs> yeah. It's so fun and easy to do. So, yeah, but thank you so much. Um, thank you, Lou, for your package. Got your package yeah. today. And I never had a real China teacup. So thank you so much. And oh, those cookies are so good. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> what is that? You know what? If they keep sending us this stuff, we're going to get fat, you know. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, believe me, I'm not going to let you get back up to 240 pounds oh, no. like you were oh, no. 10 years I, ago. No, 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 that ain't never going to yeah. happen. And we want to thank our dear friends also. They sent, a, UPS shows up with these two big boxes, and it was this professional popcorn maker, like, on its own little cart and stuff. Yeah. And thank you so much, guys. Yes. Love you guys so much yes. and miss you already. And just, oh, I don't want to forget anybody. I know. Um, you know, we've done a lot of shout-outs lately, and we have forgotten one. And we want this person to know, we, you, Dallas, Canada, we think about you guys. We think about you all the time. Um, we haven't had much time to watch videos lately. Um, so, you know, we, we're, we're way behind on keeping up on what everyone else has done. Um, but, you know, we definitely wanted to give a shout out to Dallas, Canada. Um, keep well, up the good work. Snarky the Apologist. I mean, yeah. you know, Poor the thing Jerry is, Jones, you know, he's a good friend and we haven't even had a chance to yeah. watch his latest ones. We can't keep up on his. He does yeah, so many. Yeah, you know, between doing the videos and Skyping with everybody and, you know, trying to just, trying to help everybody deal with this, this the nonsense of what Watchtower is, is basically a full-time job in yeah. itself. Well, August is usually a busy month for us anyway, because we're busy making things for the business, because he's got a rendezvous in September, you know, like yeah. we've mentioned before, September is like one of our busiest months. Yeah. So actually, you may I'm not hear too much from us, you know, in September. So we're trying to get a few videos made ahead of time. So that I can be editing them and uploading them in September when he's gone. And then, of course, the business is real busy. Uh, but hopefully come this 
you know, winter we'll be able to get caught up in everything and yeah. get to yeah. watching everybody else's videos, you know, yeah. with our popcorn and M and M's now. Yeah, and there again, it's also our our personal study and our personal research into different things because it isn't just only about the Watchtower. It's um, Kim and I are huge um, um archae archaeological fans um we watch we, a lot of we documentaries just, we can't get enough of archaeological documentaries i mean we even watched one last week where they found some some bones deep in a cave and they did a dna testing on them and they were the uh neanderthal, neanderthal. yeah i'm kind of confused because i've always called them neanderthals and now in the archaeological archaeological community they're calling them neanderthals Anyhow, the Neanderthal, Neanderthal. What? But the thing that really struck me about these bones is there's evidence on these bones that these people were cannibalized, and that's the first time I had ever heard that. Watching any amount of archaeological shows, that they're finding evidence that these that these uh, people were cannibalized. And they actually found the flint, the sharp flint beside yeah. them that they think yeah, had been so that used was to do this. Pretty interesting show. So. Well, we want to thank Nehi Maya on JWN Forum because he brought something to everybody's attention. So we want to thank you. Yeah. And uh, so we looked it up and we also have a yearbook. <laughs> and we have the 2014 yearbook, which obviously has the 2013 statistics Numbers, in it. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, it's quite interesting. There are one, two, three four, five, six pages of statistics. Now, before we get into this, what we're going to get into, I want those who are not Jehovah's Witnesses and those who are Jehovah's Witnesses to understand something. Um, this organization that calls itself the Watchtower Bible Crap Track Society, sorry about that, this organization is absolutely 100% statistically driven oh numbers okay. for everything um everything you know when you get your circuit overseers visit a couple times a year that first night he's there what what does he do come on jehovah's witnesses you know crunching that's numbers. right he crunches the number so that thursday night meeting or whatever night that you have your service meeting he gets up at the end and he gives a 30 minute talk maybe 45 minute but part of that talk lets the congregation know how they're doing because he sat down and he's crunched all the numbers. He, he knows the average publisher's peak. He knows um, how many, what the average hours of the congregation is because when those hours are brought out to you, they do not include the hours that your regular pioneers are putting in for that particular congregation. So everything that this organization does is driven by numbers. When your circuit overseer gets done visiting, that report with all those numbers and all those figures goes right to Watchtower. Now we also know that the witnesses that who have been attending their regional conventions, you know, for the past couple of months are being told, you know, how great their numbers are and fastest growing and Jehovah's blessing them and Okay, so we just want to share some numbers with everybody, and we're going to start with the 2014 yearbook, okay? Now, it's interesting because they have the peak publishers for 2013, which is 7,965,954. Now, this is the number they usually quote and use all the time, the peak publishers. Well, in fact, isn't that what they did in this, this in, magazine here? Not that one. Um... And here, the average publishers, yeah. which means the average through the whole year, is only 7,698,377, which is a difference of 267,577. That's a big difference between not... average and peak. Yes, so you so. got 267,000 that are not regular kingdom publishers. Yeah, but they always use the peak number as, when they're bragging. as they did in the May 15th, 2014 Watchtower. Now this is what was interesting because um, here on page 28, paragraph 7, 
towards the bottom, it says worldwide, there are now well over 7,900,000 witnesses with millions more associating with them. So obviously they're using the peak number. Okay, yeah. so this is in May. What's interesting in this past Sunday's study, this is the June 15th, 2014 Watchtower on page 13. Now this is what caught our eye. And also we want to thank Nehemiah from yeah. JWN, you know, because he's the one that posted this, because he caught it. Here, here on page 13, paragraph 5. Over seven and a half million witnesses of Jehovah really have found him and they truly love him. So now it's only seven and a half million? So that means within a one year period, Watchtower's lost 500,000 members. Almost 500,000 numbers. Members. Interesting. Yeah. Real yeah. interesting. See, isn't it interesting that Watchtower brags that they have over seven, well over 7.9 million? But that's the peak publishers. What that really means is that in a 12-month year, in one particular month during that 12-year period, they had the 7.9 million Jehovah's Witnesses turn in time. Maybe it was one day. <laughs> it could have been, yeah, it could have been one day. Yeah, who knows with Watchtower. Yeah, you so, never know. Yeah, so you have numbers. to really be cautious when you're looking at these numbers from the Watchtown Bible Tract Society because they they are so number driven that you don't really understand what they're getting at unless you know specifically what they're referring to. So like in the one Watchtower when they say there's well over 7.9 million, you don't realize that that's the peak of publishers. Again, that means one month out of a 12 year period. Month. You said 12 year. Uh, okay. Yeah, that, that means <laughs> one month out of a 12-month period, that was the maximum number of publishers that turned in time. Now, also keep in mind that when Kim and I were Jehovah's Witnesses, this had actually changed. In order to be counted as a regular publisher, you had to turn in at least one hour a month in field service, and that made you a regular publisher. Yeah. Be now they count everybody. Well, but not only that, but what I was going to get at is that if you're an elderly person, now you can turn in a minimum of 15 minutes and still be counted as a regular publisher. Yes. So that's how Watchtower has to change to keep the number of hours in field service inflated. Because the numbers in, of uh, those turning in time are really, really dropping down because yeah. the friends are just not doing it. And the thing is, is you know, we've had several who say, oh, well, I really don't see their numbers going down and stuff. But you're relying on Watchtower's numbers, you yeah. know, and then they slip up and put something like this in only seven and a half million. Yeah. So now you've got, you know, you've got, you know, better than 400,000 million Jehovah's Witnesses in one year unaccounted for now. Yeah, 400,000. So, all right, everybody. So we'll talk to you later. And thanks again for everything. Yes, thank you.